Hey guys, it's me, the Linux Drive, and today I'm going to show you how to set up PCSX2, in other words, a PlayStation 2 emulator, on your computer. Okay, well, first thing you need is, this is kind of ironic, but you need a PlayStation 2. Okay, why? Here's why, because when you turn on the PlayStation 2, the first thing that loads up is the system of the PlayStation 2. Those are, those are called the BIOS. So... To run the emulator, you need a PlayStation 2 BIOS system. And to get that, unless, okay, you have a good day and you find it online somewhere that somebody just posted it up for you to download, then that's another story. But normally people and the site itself for the emulator tells you to get the BIOS from a PlayStation 2 and dump it onto a USB flash drive. Now, once you do that process, okay, um, I just found the BIOS online a long time ago, and I, I suggest you guys do the same. So I'll meet you in the screencast right now on how to set it up. Okay, guys, so now that we're here back in the screencast, then the link in the description to the website for PCSX2 will be in the description. Once you go there, click on the Downloads tab. Remember that you need 7-zip so that you can work with it. Now, remember, 7-zip isn't for the latest installer. It's for the old installers that would go for Linux and for the other stuff that they have. So, download the latest installer by clicking on download. And save the file. Once it's done downloading, click on the download. And install. Click on next and install. Okay, once it's finished, click on click on close. Okay, now you have PCSX right here. Click on it. Okay, system default. Choose the language that you want, then hit apply. Click on next. If you have any saved information of um, past games that you already have on your on your computer because of you you have used the emulator before, which probably not because you're watching this tutorial, um, then this should pop up. But since it's my case, okay, I'm just going to import. Okay, so these should be the settings that go up for the graphics, um, the CD drive, and the controllers. Now, remember this. You need to make sure that your computer can handle the emulator and the game itself. Because if not, you're going to have a hard, uh, sorry, a hard time playing the game. It's going to be laggy. It's going to be very low quality. The game will suck. Okay? So once this is done, cl click on next. Okay. So, default settings. I don't use the default settings because once you download or dump the BIOS from the PlayStation 2, you need to go, okay, and click on Browse, and go to where you saved it so that it can boot from the BIOS. So, click on the folder where, where the BIOS are, click on OK, and click on Finish. Whoops, my bad. Before clicking on Finish, uh, choose the version of BIOS. I'm going to choose USA console. Once that's done, PCSX should be running operationally. Okay, well, anyway, comment, like, rate, subscribe, and I'm going to post another video on how to set up the controls and explaining the graphics for each game. Uh, I'll see you guys later.